Shall I start? Okay. A wonderful good morning, everyone. Today, ahead of the UAE's signature presidency event on climate change, peace, and security, Gabon, Malta, Mozambique, Switzerland, and the United Arab Emirates have come together as part of the joint CPS pledge, as well as Albania and Ghana in their national capacity to drive this agenda forward. The interlinkages between climate change, peace, and security are undeniable. Disputes over increasingly scarce resources, changing agricultural patterns, the destruction of critical infrastructure and population displacement are some of the key drivers contributing to conflict and violence and climate change will act as a risk multiplier for these drivers. Climate change will jeopardize human life, livelihoods and ecosystems and it will adversely impact local, national, regional and global stability and security. We are aware that the multilateral system has not faced a challenge as complex as climate change in its history. No one government nor international organization can respond to the challenge of climate change alone. It is imperative that the multilateral system utilizes the full breadth of its distinct and complementary mandates to drive appropriate responses, tailored to the specific circumstances of each situation. Good morning. Uh, I'm the Swiss State Secretary for Foreign Affairs uh, here for this uh, debate. Um, so the Security Council must meet its responsibility by confronting and preparing to manage the full range of conflict risk factors that climate change is likely to exacerbate. The start, it starts with data collection and analysis in order to understand how climate change will impact both now and in the future the implementation of UN peace operations and to guide how the Security Council can act in the face of such challenges. Climate-related hazards complexify the ability of UN peace operations to respond to violence and facilitate conflict prevention and resolution. Flooding, sandstorms and other climate-related hazards impact the mobility and operations of peacekeeping troops including their access to impacted populations. As responsible and committed members of the Security Council and to the climate change, peace and security agenda, we stand ready to consolidate our efforts to advocate to advance a systematic, responsive and evidence-based approach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. We're going to go through to the debate now, but I just wanted you to be aware that we have the State Minister from Mozambique, our Minister of Climate Change from the United Arab Emirates, and the State Secretary from Switzerland, who as ministers have attended this debate because they see this importance of climate peace and security as critical to the maintenance of international peace and security. So they decided to join uh, this, this PR, usually PR stakeout, and I'm delighted that our colleagues from Albania and Ghana have also joined us here today. Uh, and please uh, ask us questions afterwards, but we have to take everyone through uh, to the debate. Thank you. Thank you very much.